In this video, I'm going to show you mobile editing. So we're going to go to the funnel that we're setting up. We're going to start with the squeeze page. So we're going to go to edit page. And now you will see on the bottom left, there is desktop icon and mobile icon. So you've got, this is the desktop. This is what it's going to look like. No problem at all. And then when I click on this, it's going to show you what it's going to look like on mobile. Now you'll notice a few things. First of all, you will notice that this, the image and all that is going to switch in terms of the sequence. Now, in case I wanted to not even display where it scrolls down, but I want it to be exactly the way I want it, where it's side by side, then I can actually hover over and have a look on the row. So you see right here, when I click on the row, now I'm going to scroll to the left and I will change disable vertically stacking rows on mobile devices. So that means that it will not stack them vertically. So I'm going to click on that and then they will be side by side exactly like it was on desktop. Now, obviously, because it's mobile, it doesn't look good this way. So we want to reverse it back. So we will disable that. And what we're going to do now is we just want to make this text probably a little bit smaller. So we're going to go here and we're going to change this to 30. Now it will look totally fine. Now you'll also notice that there is now a lot of space in the green right here and it's a little bit too much. So first of all, click into the text and you'll notice that the bottom video editing or mobile editing has 18. So you're going to make this zero. Now you're going to look again and now it looks like it's just the way it's supposed to be. Now, if you were to now click on this and you're going to notice that the spacing between the, this thing at the top and the bottom one, it's a little bit too much or a little bit too little. So what we're going to do, we're going to space out. We're going to click on this and we're going to click on margins. And then we're going to make the top 10 and the bottom 10. Now you'll see it will be a little bit smaller. So that's a little bit better spaced out. So that's better. We can even make it 20 and 20. Now on these bullets, that seems to be looking just fine. I'm pretty happy with how it looks. If anything, I can make the icon size a little bit smaller. That's totally fine. And then the button looks good the way it is. And this image can actually be made a little bit smaller. So I'm going to make this 350 like so. Now you'll notice that it's still a bit big. So I'll, I can make it even smaller because this is 310. So we can do it like this, 240, and make it center. Okay. And now I'm pretty happy with how this looks. Now I'm going to click on Save Changes. Now here on the menu of the, the footer, you can click on this. And if you want to click on open, it will show you what it will look like. So I'm pretty happy with how this looks like on mobile as well. We're going to click back, back on desktop and you will notice that this looks exactly the way it looked in the first place. So there's really no difference. All we did is we edited the mobile version. Click on save changes. I want to double check we did everything correctly here. So that's all good. Click on save changes again. We're going to exit. Mobile editing for the squeeze page is done. Now we're going to go to the thank you page, click into it click on edit page. Now you will notice a couple of points. First of all, I made this a little bit smaller. So on the section, I made it white instead of full page. I made it white, but you see it looks a little better. You'll notice that I made this and this center so that it doesn't matter on the, what device we're using. This is going to be the center of this section. Now we're going to check the mobile editing. So you'll notice what it looks like now. So first of all, you got this. This looks totally fine. You can even make it a little bit bigger, but it's going to then push it down to make it an extra line. So I'll make it smaller. And realize that depending on what device people are looking at, it might be a bit different anyway. So don't stress out over it too much. Now, this part, I would like to make it just a tiny bit smaller so it fits in the same thing. And then the vertical height, I'm going to make it 20. Now you'll notice this again, there's no space in between them. So on the margins, I'm going to make it 20 and 20 and I think that's going to look better and then before you go watch this short video from me now here's the thing there is no video here so how do I fix that so what we're going to do is a couple of points you're going to hover over here and now you see the entire row is basically highlighted now I'm going to scroll down and we're going to click on reverse row columns on mobile devices and now it's going to basically switch to put the video on the top now, again, I like to make the video a little bit more spaced out. So I'm going to make it like so. And then on this particular text, that looks fine. This row, it looks fine. 
Okay, let's make the margins on the top not so much, like that. And then your next steps, I'm gonna click here. I'm gonna make the vertical stacking 20, the line height 20, and now that's how I want it to look like. So this is what it's gonna look like on mobile. I can actually make this bigger as well. It actually will look fine like this. And I think that's pretty good how it works. So that's pretty much it. Now I'm gonna click on save changes. I'm happy with that. This text is 18. This text is 16. I can make this a little bit smaller. Okay, click on save changes. Now you'll notice if I go to desktop again, nothing changed. I only changed it on mobile. Okay, now that that's done, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna now show you the final pages. So first of all, this is the final page of the landing page. I'm gonna refresh, you'll see what it looks like. And the thank you page, I'm gonna refresh, show you what it looks like. By the way, if you're curious about the confetti animation, I did not show you how to do that. Simply go to confettipage.com and check it out. Somewhere around here, you'll also see a tutorial on my channel on how to install confetti on System.io. It literally takes 30 seconds to 60 seconds. It's very quick and it's super fun. You can also customize any type of confetti. So it's different types of confetti where it pops up from the side, to the left, you can change the colors of it, all that good stuff. In the next video, we are going to do a test of the funnel. So you can see the entire thing that we have just built in action. And I encourage you to go through the same test if you've been following along the steps and building your own to also do your own test. Now, I wanna remind you all the templates for the squeeze page and the thank you page is all gonna be included in the description below. Go ahead and check it out and let's go ahead and move to the next video so we can test everything.